with you how I prepare my yarn for knitting self-striping socks. I like to knit my socks two at a time on their own separate needles, and so I prepare my yarn by splitting it into two um, cakes or two balls. I have wound my yarn up into one full cake already. I will pop a picture here on the screen of what it looked like before I wound it. It is um, a yarn that is self-striping with three colors. There's a cream, a maroon, and a forest green. So what I use is my yarn, I have a little scale here, and I have a calculator. So first thing is that I'm going to weigh how much yarn I have to start with. So it looks like I am starting with 71 and a half grams. So we're gonna divide that in two so that I know how many grams to divide up my um, yarn into two equal parts. So I want about 35 grams each. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start winding and I can wind from the outside or from the inside. So let's see here, usually I pull my yarn from the outside but if I can find the center here, maybe we'll change it up a little. I don't remember what color it was that I had going in the center. If it doesn't come out soon, we will just pull from the outside. Yep, I'm not messing with that. But if you can find your center, you can pull from the center um, or just go from the outside. So I'm just going to start winding here. And I like to just get a little bit on my fingers there and then just get going and then once it becomes more manageable and a little ball I like to wind each stripe on its own it's a little trickier in the beginning since the ball is so small some people call these a gobstopper ball so I am just going to keep winding here So I have wound this first half and we're going to check the weight. We are at 35 and a half, which is right where we want to be. Now you have to make a decision or I have to make a decision if I want it to go in the same order and in the same direction or opposite direction or different starting points because it is three colors of stripes. So if I cut, it here, the transition between the green and the red. The next one, the inside will be red. And then I found the other end that's from the center and it started with cream. But if I um, end on the cream, then I'm gonna start on cream and not starting on green. So the two socks will start on different colors, which is also fine. I also looked at the length of the cream and it is not the length of a full stripe. So I will probably cut the cream, save it for later in case I need it, um, depending on how the toes end up, if I'm gonna do a contrast or if I'm really close to finishing, but maybe I need a, just a few more inches or something, so I always save that. But then if I cut here, I'm gonna start on red, not green, which again, if you're okay with that, that's fine. If you wanna go in opposite directions, I can cut it now and then just use the second one as is, I mean, I'll probably, stuff some of this yarn, what you call it yarn barf, when you pull it out from the middle and it's just like black. So, and then that one will also start with red, but it'll go in a different, the opposite striping sequence. So it just depends if you like your socks to be exactly the same or fraternal twins or however way you just feel like knitting it at that time. So I think what I am going to do now is I'm going to cut here and then I'm going to continue winding so it actually ends up in the same sequence but doesn't start on the same color. So one will start on green and one will start on red. So I'm gonna cut this here and then continue winding. Mm -hmm. I 
broken ball all wound up. And as I was winding, I decided that, that I actually want them to start at the same color. So I have wound up to the green. So they're both starting at the green in the same striping sequence. And I have left is this red with a little bit of white. So I'm going to cut my yarn here. And it should be at about the same weight. So that is at about 34 grams. And my first one was at 35 grams. So they're just one gram off. And again, this yarn that is remaining, I will hold on to until the very end because I never know when I might need it. Um, and then I will also just wind this one up just so it isn't such a big tangled mess. But now my yarn is ready to start for two at a time self-striping socks. Mm -hmm.